Hey, before the video begins, I just want to say that if you enjoy this video, then I would greatly appreciate if you could subscribe. We're closing in on 10,000 subscribers, and it would mean the world to me if we could reach that. Also, check out my socials and Discord server. The links are in the description below. Animation is difficult. It takes a lot of time to learn and understand. It's also really expensive to afford the proper hardware and software to produce these videos. I honestly don't care. So that's why I'm here to help you out. I'm here to help you understand and create some epic memer Pog Champ animations for free. Yes. You heard me, free, zero dollars. Also, this whole video works with literally any device, including an Apple device, Android device, PC and or laptop, and your Nokia flip phone. And also that yes, I know I already made an animation tutorial a year ago, but that one is catastrophic to say the absolute least. Hey guys, do you wanna know how to animate? So getting that out of the way, let's get started. Alright guys, so as you can see, we are on the home screen of my iPad. We can see we have Procreate here and LumaFusion. Procreate is the app I use for drawing, LumaFusion is the app I use for editing. So what I use is I use an iPad Pro 4th generation, I just got it, so I'm still trying to get used to it. I use the new Apple Pencil. Um, I also use, like I said, LumaFusion for editing. It's a really good editor, and I highly recommend you could use it, and obviously this app Procreate, which I said is a really good drawing and animation app, but it's mainly a drawing app. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be animating this guy over here. We'll call him uh, Bob, and we're going to be animating him saying, hey guys, please subscribe. So yeah, I'm going to be also showing you useful tips while we do it, and let's get right into it. So yeah, while I'm drawing this, I just want to give one little tip. Always make sure you draw your different body parts or whatever in different layers. Like for example, I put the torso in one layer, I put the head in one layer, and I put the two arms in one layer. Or I put one arm in one layer, other arm in one layer, and then the mouth and eyes in the same layer. And then if you have feet, I would put the legs or whatever in different layers. Just it's a very useful tip, so that way you can move body parts around without having to like crop them out and stuff. Especially if you color them, it's going to be really hard and really annoying to have to keep doing that. So just a useful tip to keep in mind. So yeah, here it is. This is our finished drawing of Bob. So. I'm going to add all these um, layers into one group so that way they show up as a single frame in the animation tool, which I should probably go ahead and turn on. But first, I'm just going to name it for the sake of this video, obviously you don't have to name it, but that is frame 1. Now frame 2 is going to be the second frame that's going to show, meaning everything is probably going to be completely different. So frame 1 is with his arm at the bottom, frame 2 is going to be his arm is all the way at the top. Now you're probably wondering why there's such a big jump, why not slowly move the arm up? Well what I'm doing is those are called in-betweens, which I will be showing you how and what you do with them later, but for now we're going to have our two main shots. In-betweens are what you use to fill in the movements in between the two main shots. So the first shot, like I said, is going to be him at his lowest point, arm down, about to rise up and say, hey, and then the second frame is going to be actually where his arm is up, he's all happy, his mouth is fully open, he's like, hey, so that's just what I'm going to be drawing here quickly, so let's do a little another, let's, let's do another speed art. Alright, so here are our two finished frames. So. Here, as you can see, I duplicated frame 1, and now we got frame 1 in between. Now, an in between, as what I like to call it, is basically the first frame, but with minimal movements, just to make it look like it's moving a little bit. So, like, example here, the mouth will move just slightly up, it'll, like, open just very 
a little bit more. And then we could also move around all the body parts in different ways, so that way the body's like moving at all times. And it'll make it look really jumpy and cartoony, which is obviously we're making a cartoon, so it's the look we're going for. So now we got frame 2 in between, which actually comes before frame 2. So the frame 1 in between comes after frame 1, frame 2 in between comes before frame 2. So they're kind of just two transitioning frames. So as you can see, the head moves up and then down, like that. Now obviously, we need to move things around a little bit, because if you saw the last frame, I think I moved the arm a little bit too much, which makes it look bad. So I'm going to fix that up a little bit and we'll see what we're left with. Alright, here we go. Also, I think it's a good time to mention that you should also hold frames a little bit, so that way you could see it more better, I guess. So yeah, this is what we got. So now the next step we gotta do is we gotta add frame 3, which is the final part of the animation where he's like, please subscribe. So he's at the bottom. He he pops up, he's like, hey guys, and then he goes back down, and he's like, oh, please subscribe, and I'll show you what we do. Alright, while I'm making some finishing touches to this drawing, which obviously it's very rough, like I said, this is definitely not a professional animation. Um, but as I'm doing these finishing touches, I'd really appreciate if you guys could subscribe. Uh, my subscriber count has been going down over the past year. I went from 9,500 all the way down to 9,004, so honestly it would really help out if you could subscribe. So anyway, now we gotta do the frame 2 in between number 2. So we're just gonna make minimal movements, you know the drill. Gotta move everything down a little bit, up a little bit, and you gotta think logically when you're doing this. Think about if my arm moves up, will my head move up or down, or will it move at all, or will my mouth open or close, will it move at all, what will move, what won't move, where will it move, how will it move, what direction will it move, you gotta think really logically when doing this. So now let's do frame threes in between, which will just be um, more moving. Now when you're moving from the head like all the way up and now, slanted and down it's like a completely different area you got to make sure the head slides in that direction on those in-betweens if that makes sense if you know what i mean all right this is it so let's just take away the hold on that frame of the head down a little bit just so it's a little jumpier well, there we go this is the final product now I obviously need to do some tweaking to it, I'm going to put the audio in underneath in my editor, but I don't really think I need to teach you how to use an editor, it's pretty straightforward. So I'll put it in my editor, and let's see what the final product is. Hey guys, please subscribe. So yeah, that's how you animate on almost any device. I know that this may not be my best work, but I'm sure that you can and will find something useful in this tutorial that will help you on your animation journey. Just ask Billy, the guy who punched his drawing tablet at the beginning of the video. Honestly, this tutorial sucked and I learned nothing! You little piece of s- Billy, calm down! Anyway, let me know in the comments if you have any questions or if there's anything I missed. And I'll see you in the next video- yeah!